We've thought long and hard about it, and after much discussion and debate, we've decided that Mr Horton is a total bastard. No, 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 that's right. So we want you to stand for the elections. Oh, that's ridiculous. I mean, one, I'm not a candidate, and two, the only official organisations I belong to are the Tufty Club and Take That Anonymous. <laughs> we even worked out a campaign song. Yeah. Don't you argue, don't you bick, I'll vote for Jerry, she's a licker! <laughs> <laughs> and Owen's been working on a dirty tricks campaign, eh, in case anything turns nasty. <laughs> That's right. We've got some alternative placards. <laughs> Remember when poor old Doris Hall got run over? David Horton. <laughs> and an alternative song. In the old days, you'd vote for Horton because you thought you ought to. But remember, he's not only had your vote, he's also had your daughter. <laughs> Have you told anyone about this? Everyone. Everyone. <laughs> he's as doomed as a virgin on a date with Rod Stewart. <laughs> you win hands down. Nonsense. Do you really think so? <laughs> I just wondered whether you'd be voting for Councillor Horton again. Horton? Is that H-O-R-T-O-N? Yes. Can he depend on your vote? No. Are you sure? He's jolly nice. I am voting for the vicar. All oh, right. Well, she's jolly nice too. <laughs> Hello, David. Something wrong? Yes, there is a tiny hiccup. <sighs> Apparently, I'm about to suffer the worst election defeat since Enoch Powell stood in Brixton on the whites only ticket. <laughs> and do you know who they're voting for? Is it that charming Mr. Smewin? Unfortunate complexion, but very no, nice. No, not Smewin. Oh. The entire village is voting for you. Me? Little me? <laughs> dog collar? No, surely not. <laughs> Actually, I had heard a rumour, but I just ignored it because, after all, you are so popular. And besides, I didn't think a vicar could stand for district councillor. Yes, well, if Giles Branrith can stand for Parliament, who knows what's legal anymore? <laughs> well, I'll tell you this, David. If this is happening, if for some crazy reason every single nitwit in this wacky, mad village is going to vote for little old me, well, it's a pretty loony turn of events because, you see, I don't want to be a councillor. Well, I'm glad to hear it. So I suppose I'll have to advise my supporters who to vote for. Hmm. Well, on the one hand, we've got <laughs> Kevin Smewin, short, face like an international spot convention, <laughs> about as much charisma as a pair of nylon underpants, but with a very good heart. On the other hand, oh dear. <laughs> now, obviously, I should speak to Clearasil, Kev. <laughs> but if you and I could come to some kind of arrangement, David, mm -hmm. now if I could run a few policy changes up the flagpole, see if you salute them, undress a few ideas, see if you get into bed and shag them. <laughs> well, maybe, just maybe, we could come to some accommodation. How does that idea grab you, Davy boy? What exactly do you have in mind? Well, Diddy. <laughs> I was thinking we could visit a few of your constituents, make a few teensy-weensy election promises. 